This is a question I get all the time because I mentioned the free bookkeeper certification and people go to look for it on the QuickBooks website and it's really strangely hard to find. So I'm here to tell you today step by step about where to find that certification. I'm Morgan from finepoints.biz and I do tons of videos to help out bookkeepers who are starting out in their business. Definitely hit the subscribe button down below, hit the notification bell to get a video from me every week. Leave me a comment down below that's a clapping emoji if you've been trying to find this for a while or if you didn't know it existed and you are happy that you know where it is. Hey, so it's a different day, but I'm gonna hop on my computer now and show you guys exactly how to sign up to be a QuickBooks Pro Advisor. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is go find the right website. So I just Google QuickBooks Online Accountant and then it comes up in a Google search. And this is the website that you wanna use. I will leave this website linked down below as well. And then <clears throat> there's tons of different options as you can see and lots of different trainings and I don't know, so it gets overwhelming. But where you wanna go is sign up and you are going to make an account in QuickBooks Online Accountant. And this is designed so that you as a bookkeeper can manage multiple clients. Within my online accountant login, I have all my clients in there and then I also have my own practice books in there as well. There's kind of two sections I think I can show you. Okay, so once you log into your QuickBooks account, your QuickBooks accountant online account, um, this is what it's gonna look like. So you can see different things on the side here. So clients is where I would go to find all my clients. Um, and then I want you to go to this um, Pro Advisor tab right here. And then there's benefits that'll talk about all the different benefits. You know, you get discounts for your clients, you get support from QuickBooks or from Intuit. You get all the training courses, which is the main thing I came here to show you. You get, you know, payroll, etc. So then if you go to training, these are kind of like the three first things I want you to look at. So this is just an introduction. So it just takes two hours and there's like, I can't remember if there was, I don't even think there was a quiz about that. Um, it's like super basic, getting started, um, navigating your client's books, sales expenses, and then just how to sign up people on QuickBooks Online. And then this right here is the QuickBooks Online Certification. So this is the money thing that you wanna find. This is how you become a pro advisor. So you can see right here, there's eight modules and they estimate that's gonna take you about seven and a half hours to complete. So, and you can do it different ways. You can do it self-paced, which is what I did. You can do a webinar. So it has different options here for webinars or you can do a classroom training. So I think in these, there was nothing nearby me. So these are in um, Texas. If you just want to take a whole day and just go on like a Saturday and learn it all, that would actually probably be something that I would be interested in, but um, they didn't have it near me. So I just did the self-paced training. You can see when you get into these different things. Okay, so it's solutions for client clients, onboarding, um, special client onboarding tasks, reporting, banking tools, etc. And you can see each one of these, it tells you each one how long it's going to take. So let's see, for example, reporting, and then within here, there's different options. So basic reports, the value of reports, creating, com creating reports to answer common business questions, each one how long it's going to take. So let's see, for example, reporting, and then within here, there's different options. So basic reports, the value of reports, creating, com creating reports to answer common business questions. And then on each of these, it's a pretty good program. It's pretty intuitive and they really tell you at each point where you're at and how long it should take and kind of where you have to go from there. So then you can click on different areas and it does remember where you are. So if you've done, if you do only half a training one time and you come back to it, it'll remember where you are, which is very helpful. You can go to different parts. I already took the test on this, but if I hadn't taken it, it would have a little green box here again that says take exam. But now for me, it says certified. So I am certified in QuickBooks Online and you, I'll show you the certification little certificate that they give you. It's not that exciting. This is the certificate I worked so hard to, oh, to get. 
And then you do get this little badge. So you can include this badge on your website to show people that you are QuickBooks, a QuickBooks Pro Advisor. And for some reason, the resolution on this is really small on mine. Leave a comment down below if you're a Pro Advisor and you figure out how to get the badge in a better, um, better resolution. All right, and I think I mentioned in a different video that I ended up not actually going through this eight hours, the seven and a half hours of training. So because I've been a bookkeeper for six years, I really knew a lot of this stuff. Some of it is specific to QuickBooks Online, which I, I wasn't as familiar. I haven't been using QuickBooks Online my whole career as a bookkeeper, but a lot of it I did already know. So what I ended up doing was I kind of just skimmed through these in probably about like two hours, and then I went ahead and took the test. And when you take the test, you can look in QuickBooks. So I had like a window of QuickBooks open, and then I was taking the test. So test. So if it said, you know, where do you find um, how to make an invoice, I could, you know, go and look where to make an invoice or, you know, maybe ones that were harder than that. And I found the test to be about as hard as I expected. It wasn't super hard and unreasonable, but you did have to know enough about bookkeeping and you did have to, you know, so a lot of the answers I did have to look around for or figure out. If I had done all the training as I was supposed to, I probably wouldn't have had to look up all these different things. And some of the questions were like about how to sign up clients for QuickBooks Online, so that was actually very helpful, but it wasn't stuff that I had in my mind. All right, and then it also has this QuickBooks Advanced Certification. So again, this will take eight hours there is all these different things. So special transaction, advanced banking, different currencies, advanced reports, um, sales tax, and things like that. So I have heard from my bookkeeper forums that this, the advanced certification is fairly challenging. So that's kind of next on my list. It's hard um, as I'm running my business and working with clients and doing YouTube to kind of be motivated to go back to like to the schoolwork part of it. But eventually I would like to just sharpen those skills um, and take this advanced certification, but it's not necessarily on the top of my to-do list. And then they do have a couple specialty courses for um, QuickBooks Self-Employed and then T-Sheets, which I don't, I haven't really used T-Sheets that much. I know Intuit promotes it a lot and there's a lot of um, things about it, but I'll have to do some more research and figure out exactly if that would be useful for my business or not. But let me know in the comments, what are the questions you have about the test? I can do another video about the test and how hard it was and what type of questions were on there. So yeah, definitely let me know anything you are wondering about the QuickBooks ProAdvisor certification test.